I think it was about two, three weeks ago, I dropped a video saying that in life, you don't get what you deserve. You get in life what you negotiate. So someone's come underneath the comment section of that video and they ask, Jay, how do I negotiate a salary if there's a range? So for example, let's say a man's going for a job interview and the role is paying between 32 to 38K a year. They want to know how to get the 38K a year, basically. Obviously, I responded to that comment, obviously in a video, by saying something along the lines of, you know, you need to introduce competition anxiety. I'm not saying use the L word and lie, but you get me, maybe stretch the truth. And hopefully this is the truth. Hopefully, if you are going for a 38K uh, a year job, hopefully you do have other jobs that are paying 40K. So I'm saying that, like, if you go for the job that's paying between 32 to 38k a year, tell the employer, yo, I've got other jobs lined up. Yeah, they're paying 40, 42. The only reason why I'm actually coming to you is it's just easier on the travel. Like, you know, it's an hour to get to that job, but it's 30 minutes to get to you. So I prefer to get to you only if you're willing to pay the 38k a year. Obviously, man, have to have the credentials. You know, to do the job and that, yeah, you can't just turn up like a Ross Clark novice and try and expect to get the highest salary and that. One thing I did say in that video as well is tell the employer, yo, put me on the 38k a year, you won't be disappointed. And if after three months, then downgrade me to the 32k a year. Once you're at the 38k a year, it's hard, it's going to be hard for them to downgrade you and that if you're pulling your weight. Anyway, that's uh, what I said when I responded to that person's comment but i just see this email this this is actually an email that came to me earlier today and i was thinking about it. i thought you know let me just make a quick follow-up video on that so there's a recruitment agency called diamond recruitment and i'm very familiar with them i've worked for them on a number of occasions over the years and they sent me this email and diamond recruitment are looking for electrical supervisors for a project in wembley starting asap so I don't know if it's Wembley Stadium or just Wembley, the area, but it sounds like there could be quite a big job going on. And it says you'll be working a nine hour day, 260 to 280 pound a day. You must have a triple STS and minimum JIB gold card, preferably first aid. Now triple STS is like the site supervisor safety training course. I did that like five years ago. I think it only lasts for three years, so I've done all my thing is expired. And a GIB gold card is just an electrician's gold card. Obviously, you need to have certain qualifications to have a gold card. Now, I have a black card, which is a higher level. So you have, like, the gold card, and then you have the black card. So um, I, I got the black card a long time ago on that. The only thing I don't have is the first aid. But I sat there because I read it when I was in my car during my lunch break just looked at this email and I sat there and I thought well how would I negotiate the 280 pound because you know if you could get paid potentially between 260 and 280 you want the 280 right I thought how would I negotiate this 280 well obviously I don't have the first aid and that so that's going to go against me but what is going for me to some degree is obviously there aren't that much supervisors out there there's a lot of supervisors but there aren't as much supervisors as there are electricians the fact that they're contacting me, it's probably because they're a little bit desperate. A little bit. Because if they weren't that desperate, you know, they would have people that they would know that they could just phone up. There would be people lining up waiting to jump on this contract. So they might be a little bit desperate for electrical supervisors. So do you know what I'll say to them? I'll phone up this Chris guy and I'll say, listen, I usually work for 300 to 320 pounds a day. Me taking 280 pounds a day is a downgrade. Right? So the only way I'm going to take on this contract is by working for £280 a day. You have to talk like that. You have to have that sort of conviction and confidence. Obviously, man, you have to have the credentials as well. Yeah, You can't say, oh, well, you know, it's going to be my first time ever being a supervisor, you know. I just about got my JIB gold card and that. And what's first aid? I've never heard of that. No, you need to have that sort of confidence in that. Listen, I only work for £300 to £320 a day. Me working for £280 a day, that's a downgrade in that. So unless you're willing to pay me £280 a day, then I'm not going to bother work this job. You see when you speak in that manner with that tonality, you ooze confidence. A man will hear that and think to yourself subconsciously, you know what, 
Maybe this guy is the man for the job. Let me hire him. Let me get him on board. You've got to speak with speed, confidence, and a little bit, a little bit of arrogance. None of this, well, you know, I think I should get paid £280 a day because I'm a nice person. Say to him, listen, I usually work for 300 to £320 a day. So if I'm going to jump on board, I need to be getting paid a minimum of £280 a day as a bare minimum or I won't take the job on. So that's how I will go about it. Stay right. Time, man.